I've been given a lot of stick for this, but my like, you know, they say what's your like crazy prediction? Yeah, is France to go out of the groups? Why do you think in the group? Yeah. I Let's do who's going to underperform. That seems like a natural Ooh. progression. Yeah, France. Steve, Stevie, you're not going to like this. Oh, straight in, pie. Yeah, my, I've, I've been given a lot of stick for this, but my, like, you know, they say, what's your, like, crazy prediction? Yeah. Is France to go out of the groups? Why do you think? In a group? Yeah, I take that, that group is it's not a, capable. It's a hard group. group of death. Now, I'm telling you now, they could, eat, they could lose to Portugal. They, don't get me wrong. They're an insane team, but we've seen crazier stuff in football. I just think people are undervaluing Germany as a game. I think. On their day, they can be anyone. On honestly, that it's a great. The chances, obviously, are astronomically small. But yeah, you know, I, 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 as a as a mad prediction, France to go out in the groups. Wow, Germany, Portugal to progress. Mbappe. And I've I, got yeah, more. yeah, I'll take the stick for it. They have got they have got them all. But we've gone to tournaments before with what we consider to be them all, and we we've, we've we've not performed. We we've so historically it bottled now. it though, haven't we? You don't think we're gonna? Do you not think? <sighs> no, I th I, England. I'm now fully backing my tip for who's gonna drop out. I'm incredibly sorry. This might be very offensive to you. You go Belgium. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wearing the shirt. It's the harmony, right? We're going to be all right. Here. It's, the, it's the harmony, right? The, the Belgium, do, like, do they you, don't do seem you know to play what, well. Do as you know a what team. it is for me with Belgium? Firstly, do you know? Do you know what's baffling? I remember going into the World Cup when we were playing them in '18. We, they were in our group, mm -hmm. and I was looking at their side, and I thought we can beat them. And I looked at the reasons why, and it was some of their better players are past their best. Uh, Vermaelen, Alderweireld, Vertonghen. Mm -hmm. They're still there. Yeah, yeah, still, nothing's changed. I thought they were. I thought that they were a little bit past it three years ago. Yeah, and they're still they're still there. Hazard might not be the same Hazard's player. Not, Hazard's not the same player. Mm. Also, the, this is this is the reason. Roberto Martinez is so rubbish. <laughs> He's so rubbish. He's it. You know, certain managers they get a pass. Like yeah. they people will tell you they're good. They'll always get massive jobs, mm -hmm. but ultimately, I, I think they're so average, distinctly average. And Roberto Martinez, the fact that he is tutoring this crop of players mm -hmm. they're in trouble you reckon yeah I think okay. Belgium are in trouble you've given some you've given no some, offense it's <laughs> absolutely fine you've given some really really good reasons there um I can't remember who I was going to say who was I going to say for underperformers um I, I don't know have you have you given yours yet I'll have a no look. Uh, it's hard to say I have a really strange feeling Netherlands are going to do te terribly are, but are they expected to terribly. do anything I've, no because I think they've got an alright team at the moment but without Van Dijk they've, they've still got like yeah, they've got to, they've got they've got, good, they've got, they've got, they've got a good got, team. Yeah, Memphis to pie, Memphis to pie is pinging them in as well. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the opposite. I think people are kind of like not expecting to do anything. I think they'll do. I'm, I see. I don't back what you're saying. I think they're going to do all right. Well, the team I was going to say was Germany, and then I was scared, so I no, started no, pulled no, out. That's, that's, I mean, yeah, but we're on. That's a, that's the great thing about football, though, right? Like we're just fans with uh, with opinions, and I, I'm 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 the opposite to you. I think Netherlands might. Might do okay. They still have like they still have in the midfield. They got what? Why now them and De Jong? Yeah, they get... in the midfield. You say Depay has had a cracking season for Leon. Like yeah. they have got some quality players in there. But as you say, no, no Van Dijk probably is a massive difference. Yeah, to I, th I, th I think that they they're going to struggle to get to the heights that perhaps they don't we... have the hardest group either, do they? No, that's well. I think that's something else to consider. Who else is in that group? Austria, North Macedonia. So that's oh wow, they're two yeah. buys really, aren't they? Well, Macedonia is um, Ukraine. I think well, um, it's a Austria good group. are not a yeah. Know, they're, pro they're probably one of them teams that are not a, you know not a walkover. No, Alaba. I mean, they've got Alaba. I don't. Are Nautovic still playing? Is that yeah. touchy subject? No, yeah, no, yeah. He is. He is. <laughs> I normally call him Snake Nautovic, to be fair. So. Uh, this is the thing with him. West Ham fans kind of like dislike him because he ran off to China for all the money. Um, and I think his brother's his agent and he was pushing for more and more money all the time. But West Ham players, like even the current players that played with him, like they love him. Like they, yeah. they, ju they just speak so highly of him. Like Rice, Noble, they're always like, talk they always talk about him on social media. So I think fans sometimes make the mistake and I'm, definitely guilty of this fans expect the level of commitment that the fans demonstrate but for the fan it is uh it's a commitment and a life choice and it's in your blood it's a very for good a, point for a player it's it's a job and they've they take a better option when a better option comes along but a fan can't quite process that that's like, a very good point look, if you're if you're if you're a west ham fan who's living in romford and your life revolves around following west ham home in a way you can't there is the chip doesn't exist in your brain to understand why somebody is opting out of leading the line for West Ham. For sure. 
and therefore they're very harsh. No, that's about very that. well said. Yeah, yeah. I, I think when I was when I was younger, I was very I was terrible for it. You know, I'd see a player leave, and you'd be you know you you I would be like on social media, like what the hell are you do? like you know you've got this here that there, but I think now I. You are right, and I see that like that. It's as you get older, isn't it? As you get older, you sort of realise it. Like, when I was... Like, this isn't even that long ago. Like, five years ago, I probably still hated David Beckham from 98. Right. Whereas now, I'm just like, I'm an adult now. Like, of course I don't hate David... I'm full of admiration for David Beckham. Yeah. But the, the tribal, aggressive side of football, it can bring that out in you. That's very true. And it's like I was filming with Joe Cole um, yesterday, and I said to him, I was like why do West Ham fans still like you? Because you left for, yeah, for yeah. Chelsea. But there's that, like, I think as you as you get older, you do want to see players go on to better things. Like, I love Rice, but it's a bit of a meme here on this show that like, I'm a huge fanboy of him. I'm fully expecting him to end up at your team or yeah. Stevie's team. Like, he's, he, he has to go on to bigger and better when, things. Uh, like. But, as you say, I think there's a difference. Obviously, with Arnautovic, I don't think that's bettering himself, but, you know, if he's yeah. being offered yeah, disgraceful sums of money... You know what I mean? You have to understand but it. it. it but I think it's when you, when you see, uh, as a lower league fan, though, if I see a player that's a quality player, you know, uh, and you're like, hang on a minute, you're dropping down a league, you know, yeah. like, to go and play for them. Because I think you do have different types of footballers. I think there are footballers, and I totally respect it, that literally are there to earn money as a job. But, you know, I've known, I've got a couple of friends at play, um, and I, I'll give them a shout because Sonny Bradley's a good friend of mine, Anthony Sarsovich. They are players that will fight for the team they're playing for, whether they've moved on. Who they play for? They Plymouth? Um, Sars now plays for Bolton and uh, Sonny plays for um, Luton. But they're both captains of their team. Like, But these are players that, even though they've moved on, when they were playing for us and as they are now, they fought for the badge. You know, right. They're players that want your team to do well. I'm not saying there's players that don't, mm-hmm. but there's probably players out there that, irrespective of the result, you know, they, they want to obviously earn their money, but they might not have the care that certain players do. Yeah, mm. it's hard to it's hard to hold them. It's it's hard to kind of take that too personally as well. Now I'm older. Now I'm, when I was young, I was foolish a lot, but loads of ways. But mm-hmm. this one in particular. But you see somebody like Oscar, who played for Chelsea Central midfield, glory, like silk, <coughs> a silky footballer. He, in his prime, went off to China. And a lot of people can't process that. Whereas when you have a bit of perspective, you kind of go, his grandchildren's grandchildren are now sorted financially. Like, yeah. That's the level of income that he is now worth. Yeah. Of course he's doing that. Of course he's making that move mm. because he is sorting out genera- he's sorting out his family for generations. Does it become trickier when they like kiss the badge and shit and then they're off the next day? <laughs> if you're precious and if you, there was a time when I used to like I still refer to Gustavo Poirier as Judas because he kissed the cock at Tottenham, you know, on the... <laughs> <laughs> That's out of context. There's the clip. That's out of, There's the clip. Thank That's you. Out of Thank you, Rory. Thank you. <laughs> Apologies. Um, he kissed the, the Tottenham badge as uh, Tottenham battered Chelsea. I think it was f- the game finished uh, 5-3, I think, in the, cu- in the League Cup. As he was subbed, he gave it to the Chelsea fans and kissed the badge. And as a result, my relationship with him will never... He, he isn't welcome in my house if he ever wanted to come round. <laughs> what if he wants to come round and kiss the cock? <laughs> <laughs> Different but, story there. But, but, the thing, but the thing is, as well, as you get older, you kind of go... like A lot of these people are professionals. They're mm-hmm. doing it for, for a job. And therefore, it's very rare when somebody demonstrates the loyalty that perhaps you would as a fan. Yeah. Fair enough. Good points. Good points. My club for uh, underperformance yes. is a little bit of a bottle answer, I think. Um, I was going to go Spain, mainly because... A bit rude. The, yeah, a bit rude. I know. Bit now you know how I feel. Yeah. People have been shitted on their squad, though, haven't they? Well, they, they've, they, a couple of the players have got um, COVID, haven't they? Lorente's got COVID. Um, Busquets as well yeah. has got COVID. So they're going to miss the first game. I mean, um, they didn't take Ramos. I mean, that is... No Real yeah. Madrid players. What are they doing? But how can you not... How can you not take Ramos? He's, like, a, he's a guy who would lead the team as I'd well. Take him so, for England. Yeah. Like, just take him. Just have him around. <laughs> That's not allowed. Just, just have him in and around, though. Like, yeah, he just gives that lift. Well, so he's our Henderson, winner. is he? That just a winner. Yeah. Like, what? A, I can't understand. I can't see how this Spain team is good enough not to have somebody of that level around. Who's their keeper now? Is it still De Gea? De Gea. Is, he, what, is he still is number he, one there? I'm trying to think who else. Uh... Well, it, we, I mean, it, at one point, it was Ariza Balaga, our guy, right. who is just not. No, well, just not good you know, enough. Yeah, I think I think 
Kappa Varanasi, for example, may turn into a type of Kappa, but Kappa, once again, you kind of want them to do well, but it does get to a point where you're like, yeah, look, I'm sorry, you, you know, you've had a few let offs. Oh, I don't, I, I don't want Kappa to do well. Like, I want to see that man <laughs> oh, right. fail. Well, well, Mendy, I mean, I Mendy, think your wish will be granted. Been incredible, right? <laughs> Mendy's been incredible Truly, this season. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and considering his story, like, I, no, I've yeah, it's an amazing that he's story. Yeah, yeah, it's gone a, from you know basically nothing into football yeah, in Spain, in, and in then winning the Champions League. In 2014, he was signing on in France. And in 2021, he won the Champions League. It's incredible. Wow. In terms of like career trajectories. Yeah. It's nearly, nearly as good as yours. <laughs> <laughs> Has he got a Spotify deal? <laughs> Scotland, 4-0. Oh, he's taking the heat clipped. off you. He's oh, taking no, the heat it. off you. I, 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 <laughs> best, Scotland's best player is their left back. So I'm a fan of Kieran. No, I'm a fan of Kieran. Oh, he McTominay's there.